Hey friends, I hope you're doing well. Another, yet another Psalm of David. This guy wrote most of the Psalms, didn't he? Hey, Psalm 39 is a wisdom psalm in which David just reflects on life and uh, uh, ponder this with me. He says in Psalm 39, I said, I'll watch my ways and keep my tongue from sin. I'll put a muzzle on my mouth as long as the wicked are in my presence. But when I was silent and still, not even saying anything good, my anguish increased. My heart grew hot within me. And as I meditated, the fire burned. Then I spoke with my tongue. Show me, O Lord, my life's end and the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting is my life. You've made my days a mere handbreadth. The span of my years is as nothing before you. Each man's life is but a breath. Man's a mere phantom as he goes to and from. He bustles about, but only in vain. He heaps up wealth, not knowing who will get it. But now, Lord, what do I look for? My hope is in you. Save me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the scorn of fools. I was silent. I would not open my mouth, for you are the one who's done this. Remove your scourge from me. I'm overcome by the blow of your hand. You rebuke and discipline men from their sin. You consume their wealth like a moth. Each man is but a breath. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry for help. Be not deaf to my weeping, for I dwell with you as an alien, a stranger, as all my fathers were. Look away from me that I may rejoice again before I depart and am no more. You know, as I reflect on that, it seems as if David is, uh, I don't know, maybe struggling with sin and wanting the Lord to reveal to him the brevity of life and the reality of judgment and, and asking God to cleanse him from sin and to, to uh, lead him not in temptation but deliver him from evil, right? Because we, we can really ruin our lives with sin. And yet God's forgiveness is, is, is so unfathomable, right? He washes away our sins and cleanses us, freeing us from sin and shame. But, but the reality is to, to see our lives in view of eternity and to honor God with uh, today's decisions and tomorrow's, right? Because we will stand before him one day and uh, we need to be reminded of the brevity of life. But eternity is forever. Psalm 39, ponder that, think on that, reflect on that. I pray that you're encouraged today.